right guys, this is just gonna be a short video. Uh, it's been a rainy day today and I've just been catching up on the books and working on accounting all day while Clay and Reuven were in the lab just doing a little bit of uh, lab work for us. Uh, we had uh, some G1 jars and G2 grain jar transfers that needed to get done. Oh, and I was in there earlier just doing a little bit of Petri dish work. But other than that, you know, it's just been a great day just to kind of relax and uh, catch up on, on the books. So if you guys have been following my uh, my trials with hardwood fuel pellets, I have uh, everything sterilized here. We ran that for 15 hours in our super pasteurization unit. And these cool for 24 hours and I'll load those into the lab uh, tomorrow. Uh, you know, really successful trial and I'm really excited uh, that we'll be putting lion's mane in sawdust this year because in previous years I used to use either just wood chips which didn't have enough texture in it and the mycelium would uh, really have trouble just growing uh, t throughout the bag because there's too many gaps. And then last year I was growing on supplemented wood chips and that works really good but then when I started transferring those bags into more supplemented wood chips we actually found that the bran was a huge source of contamination so that's something i learned last year don't use supplemented uh, sawdust or wood chips for spawn it's just definitely not a good idea so i'm just in greenhouse five right now and i just noticed that i have mushrooms pinning which is awesome i've been waiting uh, i'd have to check when i put this stuff in but i'm thinking it's coming up on about two weeks uh, right now i have a cold weather uh, strain called pearl oyster which does awesome in 5 to 10, 10 degrees celsius weather uh, this strain actually happens to be an indigenous strain and it, it's actually also heat tolerant so this is a strain that i like to jump start my season but also transition as we get into warmer weather so it's uh, tipping point seems to be about 29 to 30 celsius but super stoked to see stuff growing in here because all i've had up till now is all our overwintered production and now we're getting uh, the true production that we just started end of February and this is really really the start of our season and I actually happen to have a chef uh, who actually wants to purchase some baby mushrooms for this event in Vancouver that's coming up so I'm assuming uh, probably in about four days I'm gonna be able to pick some of these and they're gonna be little baby mushrooms and I should be able to mix these ones which are pale cream color in with some uh, blue oyster mushrooms that are starting in our overwinter production and he's going to have a nice uh, color variation which he actually intends to pickle uh, for this event he's going to with these little baby mushrooms so it's going to be really awesome uh, for him and he doesn't even know what he's getting yet but he's going to be super stoked to see this <laughs> cool is that I'm shooting this video today on all my new vlogging gear. Uh, my Joby Gorillapod stand just came in. I also have a video mic uh, from, uh, it's called Video Mic Me and it comes with a furry cover to block out background noise or, or wind on a windy day because I shoot all my videos outside. And I know there's been a lot of comments uh, on, on my channel about the fluctuations in voice compared to the music that I'm posting. So I'm hoping that this will help uh, transition my videos a lot better so that you, know, you don't have to be uh, increasing and decreasing the volume just to watch my videos. Because ultimately I'm making these videos for you to enjoy so that the content is enjoyable. So I'm hoping that with this Gorillapod uh, tripod stand, I've also purchased this uh, Griptite Mount Pro for my smartphone and that goes right on top of the tripod. And what's really cool is that 
This is what I'm going to be using right now, but then as it makes sense and I want to upgrade my equipment uh, and maybe buy like an S SLR camera, the uh, the Joby Joby stand already has that a chat that attachment in it, and I can clip uh, a camera into this stand and basically use everything that I have, but just be able to shoot better picture. So this is you know definitely a great starter package. I'll leave the link below for our for my kit uh, affiliate link for all my vlogging gear if anyone's interested. And honestly, leave your comments below. I'm going to be interested to hear if you know moving forward that these videos are a better quality for you.